I have another flashlight review for you today. Today it is the Through Night Catapult Mini version 2 or V2. And yes, it is significantly different than the original Catapult Mini. If you're interested in hearing more about this light, keep watching. All right, before we get started, I'd like to thank Through Knife for sending out the Catapult Mini V2 so that I could share it with you. And I thought what I would do in this video is just to give it a little bit more value, I would actually compare the V2 against the original Catapult Mini as well as the Catapult Pro. All right, so what we'll do is we'll go down to the tabletop. I'll go over the key features for this light. I'll go over its physical and performance specification, as well as its modes of operation. Then I will get outside and we'll do some testing and comparison with of all three lights. All right, just before we take a closer look at the Catapult Mini V2, I thought I'd share with you what it came with. So this is the box that arrived in, very much a typical flashlight box from through night. Inside of the box, of course, is the operating manual with warranty information, USB Type-C charging cable, and this small bag containing a pair or two uh, O-rings and a battery port cover plus a little lanyard. So I'll put all that aside, bring the light back in. I'll go right to the physical specifications for this light. So let's start with the overall length of 55.8 millimeters. It has a diameter at the head of 40.4 millimeters and the body diameter is 26 millimeters. The weight is 115 grams. It is waterproof to an IPX8 rating and has an impact resistance of 1.5 meters. All right, let's go through the performance specifications. Turbo, 1108 lumens. That'll last for 80 seconds before the heat protection technology drops it down to 258 lumens, but that will last another 62 minutes. It has a high of 331 lumens lasting for 88 minutes. It has a medium of 160 lumens lasting for 2.75 hours. It has a low of 70 lumens lasting for 6.6 .6 hours and Firefly 0.6 lumens lasting for 85 hours. There is a strobe which is rated at 331 lumens lasting 73 minutes. All right, before moving on to the operation of the light, I thought I'd give you a few close-ups, go over some of its physical features. So let's start right at the front with the reflector. So it is polished and it is fairly deep. Now it's not really large in diameter, but it is large enough and designed well enough to give you some good central hotspot with significant amount of flood on either side, as you'll see when we get it outside. It does have some fins or heat dissipation around this area here. The switch is the really nice, quite, well, quite nice. I'll um, pass a comment on it in a second. It's a very positive click, so you can feel the click in it. It's not tactile in the terms of it doesn't have a rubber coating on it, and it doesn't sit really high off of the base. And for some people, you may find that a little bit of uh, a downer or a con for this in terms of making it a little challenging to find. And yes, I would tend to agree. I would like to see it a little raised up or maybe a tactile button, just a little easier to find without looking at. On the opposite side is the USB Type-C charging port, as you can see inside, and it does sit in quite deep. And we'll just press that back down. Some knurling along the base. And there is where the lanyard attachment is down here. So overall, very compact, very simple, nice little light. And as I mentioned, I'll give you some comparisons with the original Catapult Mini as well as the Catapult Pro in a few moments' time. All right, let's talk about operation. All right, very much the same operating system as on most through nights, simple on and off. If you want to access uh, Firefly directly, it's a press and hold. You can see it's lit up there and Firefly is, of course, very dim right now in this room. When you turn it on, you can press and hold. It will cycle through the low, medium, and high with the light either on or off. You can access turbo with a quick double press, turn it off again. With the light on or off, you can access strobe with a triple press. And while it's in strobe, if you press and hold, you can cycle through the beacon or the SOS. 
turn it off again. There are a couple of other features of Note for this, and I do like this on small lights like this. It has a, an electronic lockout, and to access the electronic lockout with the light off, press four, or three times, sorry. No, I'm, I was right the first time. Press four times quickly, and it will lock the light out. To unlock it, you press four times quickly, on, and that will unlock it. One other feature that doesn't appear often on through night flashlights is what's known as the breathing light. And right in the center, if I turn it on now, you should be able to see there's a small blue LED showing up inside of the button right there. If you want to have that uh, light breathe, in other words, light up and dim out and light up and dim out, you can do that. Uh, and there is a sweet sequence for that. And I'll put all this, of course, in the video description. Some people like that because what it allows is if this is on your nightstand or inside of your tent somewhere, then you'll be able to locate it in the dark quite easily with that breathing light. Other people find that it's a bit annoying having that light going all the time. So you have your options. You can turn it on, turn it off. I'm uh, in favor of both ways. In my tent, I'd like to have it. On my nightstand, not so much. I don't want that going all night long. All right, just before we get outside, I thought I would bring in the original Catapult Mini so that I can give you some comparisons and talk about their differences. So size-wise, they're close. They're almost identical. You can see that the Mini V2 is a tiny bit longer in length, and I think that is because the reflector is a little bit longer, and that's where the difference physically comes in. Otherwise, they're Pretty much the same diameter, both at the reflector as well as the tube body. Now, that's the both the, the extent of the similarities. Here's where the differences come in. Whereas this has a nice, deep, polished reflector, the original Mini does not. It has a polished reflector, but it's very shallow. And the way it operates, it has a lens, a focusing lens in the center of it. Now, I've previously reviewed this light, so I won't go into its details here, but I will get them both outside and do a side-by-side -side comparison. This light is a laser. It, it will cast its beam a long distance, but a very narrow, tight, searchlight is what it is. It's a pocket sized searchlight. If that's what you want, this thing will really do that. On the other hand, this one gives you a bit more of flexibility. It has a tight searchlight in the center or, or a hotspot in the center, but it has much more flood. Really, this light has very little flood or no flood uh, to speak of at all. This one is a balance. It won't cast as far as the original, but it will have more of an open beam, if you will. So maybe better for searching in close. It depends what you're looking for between the two lights. Again, we'll do a comparison outside. Now I wanna bring in the Catapult Pro. Um, yeah, there's no size comparison, right? But they do have similarities in the sense that the beam cast is similar. I don't mean the distance that it casts, but the the combination of hotspot and flood is very similar. However, this is just a much bigger, brighter light. This will cast a beam a lot further with a lot more intensity at higher lumen settings. But of course, you're carrying a heavier, bigger flashlight as well. So what's nice about it, I guess, is if you like to have this big light and all of its capabilities, you just don't want to carry that big a light maybe this one is the one you're look, looking for. All right, what I'll do, as I said, I'll take all three of these lights outside and we'll do some testing. All right, so we're doing some nighttime testing of the Through Night Catapult Mini V2. But I thought what I would do is start with the Through Night Catapult Mini, the original. This one is the pocket searchlight, just a laser beam of a light. Now, in all fairness, I am in my backyard, so it's not a great distance. It really doesn't show the potential of this small light. But as I mentioned, I do have a separate view on it. So let's just turn it on. So look how tight that is. And that's on low at a distance. Let's take it up. Now, on high, it's still such a tight little light, but on turbo, and again, you're really not getting an impression of just how far out this will reach, but you can see just how tight the beam is at a distance, so that's the Catapult Mini. Now, we're gonna go for the full-size Catapult, and this will be very bright, and this one will also reach out a very long distance. And yeah, so again, not really showing the benefit in the yard here. So that is on low, let's ramp it up. 
and this has the infinity mode so I'm taking it all the way up to high so you can see a double flash so that's high again you can see just how tight a beam it has in the central but this time look how much flooded there is around the outside and quite a distinction between the two so yeah this is quite the combination of lights but then again it is a much bigger light let's take it up to turbo and this backyard is daylight here all right so that's the full-size catapult now let's go over to the catapult mini v2 we'll turn this on and this one is step so down so there we are that's low now what i'm seeing is very much like the full-size catapult a central hotspot and flood on either side but of course nowhere near as bright. right let's take it up so this is high and high is doing a really good job and you should be able to clearly see the distinction between the central hotspot and the flood turbo and that really does a good job so this has the beam pattern of the larger catapult but the size of the smaller catapult mini all right let's close this video out with a few more comments on the through night catapult mini version 2. so right off of the top i have to compare it again against the original through night catapult mini and just talk about this one for a moment the reason being is this is a good light i do like it but really it is niche it has a very narrow area of use it's a pocket-sized searchlight that beam will go out a long ways and help you identify things at great distances but it's like a laser it doesn't have a whole lot of flood really not enough flood to make it as versatile as this light is this does cast out a long ways it is a compact throwing light for sure but it has more flood and what that means is it's a bit more versatile for use for multiple applications not just casting out to long distances in many ways this has all the features i like about the catapult pro but in a much smaller size. Yes, you're giving up lumens and reach with the smaller light, but you're also giving up size and weight. So in a lot of ways, this has the best of both of those lights combined into one tiny compact light that's easy to carry in your pocket. Yeah, it's a nice little light that still has a lot of versatility in it. All right, so that's everything I have to say about the Through Night Catapult Mini version two. If you have any comments or questions, please put those in the comments section below. As mentioned, I'll put all the information I have for this light in the video description and a reminder that both of the other lights, the original Catapult Mini as well as the Catapult Pro, I have reviews on those if you would like to watch those videos as well. I'll put the links to where you can have another look at this light as well in the video description. All right, get out and explore. Take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.